It's a brisk and early morning in the suburbs and the wildlife has just begun to stir. We're looking for a young adolescent human male. We're to follow them on their incredible journey for survival. Look, I hear one now. As you see here, we have the young human male, who has immediately taken up his place on the couch. They have evolved so much from the Homo erectus, and they could now, perhaps more accurately, be called Couchus dominus, as they can sometimes spend up to 12 hours on the couch. Phenomenal! Over the course of its 80 year life, it will travel as little as possible and grow at an astonishing rate, from 8 pounds to 212 by the end of its life. We had the honour of seeing this animal from an astounding 15 feet. Look at it, the beauty of every curve. Quite astonishing. Meanwhile, the younger female of Couchus Dominus has emerged from her room and joined her older brother on the couch. He barely gives her notice as she asks him for food as he is deeply immersed in watching TV. She instead returns to her own virtual world as she sits beside him. You see, in recent human history, the screens have become the humans' favourite things that they own. They'll spend all day on them in the virtual jungle, watching the latest celebrity news instead of going out into the real world and finding out what is happening for themselves. And they seek out logs from other humans in the virtual world that they have never met before to feel included in their pack. No one knows how long the screen time will affect the development of this young human. The young female human has emerged again from her virtual world and realised that she is hungry. Since her previous attempts to communicate with her brother only a few feet away have been unsuccessful, she decides to try virtual communication. Success! The older male has received a communication, and remember that he too would like to find food. The adolescent male now prepares to hunt for more food. Instead of actually hunting, the coucher stormonist takes his motorized vehicle, or car, to the store just a few blocks away to buy himself more of the very filling and very fascinating chips. They will last him about a few hours before he goes back and repeats the process. A very dangerous hunting process this is, of going into the outdoors for just a few minutes before going back inside while trying to avoid contact with other humans. Humans have evolved to use fossil fuels from deep within the earth to power their cars, electronics and homes. A limited resource but humans are burning them at a faster rate than ever before, releasing heat trapping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Hopefully they will stop the burning before it is too late, but this is far from the adolescent human's mind as he sets off to find food. And here we get to observe the human's highly evolved hunting ritual. The favourite food for this magnificent beast is the bag of chips. It has all the nutrients a growing Couchus Dominus needs. Or so he thinks. Everything from high fructose corn syrup to red dye number 40 and palm oil. These are some of the most craved ingredients by the humans, even though they have no idea what they are or where they come from. Most of this food in the jungle, known to the humans as a store, is processed and imported from around the world. This process is using up the human's resources at an ever-increasing rate. The humans in this area used to get their water from the neighbourhood stream. Now, humans are more interested in convenience and get their water delivered from around the world in plastic that will last for centuries after the human uses it only once. As couches don't want to scope out their modern lives, they do not realise the impact of all they have consumed in their past day on the couch. The very world that supports them suffers in the shadow of their convenience. The ocean's creatures encounter the remains of Couchus Dominus's last meal. The insects that help produce their food are dying by the millions as they spray poisonous liquid on their crops. The diverse forests, which are home to many of their fellow species, are cut down to produce their precious palm oil used in their packaged foods. They clear land for cattle and grow thousands of acres of grain for the cow's nourishment. It seems that humans may be threatened by their own existence. The question is, who will protect what is outside if this human knows nothing of it? But there is still time. Humans need to evolve to be in harmony with their natural environment. Instead of creating so much waste and spending so much time on the couch, they must reconnect with and protect the habitat that sustained their ancestors for so many years before them. They must find more efficient and less wasteful ways to get food that don't rely on unknown ingredients, people in faraway lands, or destroying other species. By creating green energy systems and reducing daily energy usage, humans can take a hold of their fossil fuel addiction and reverse the catastrophic effects of climate change. 
by rediscovering their connection with nature, humans can learn how to appreciate and love the unique world they live in. Thank you.